We're going to talk putting alignment, and I have my alignment sticks again. Um, we're going at this cup. I can check with this alignment stick on the ground that I'm aiming at this uh, at this cup, making sure same thing, same with like a full swing. Make sure the knees, hips, shoulders are all in alignment. We can put that across our shoulders and our hips, make things sure things are square. Uh, before I check my eye alignment that I'm going to talk about in a second, I want to check my distance from the ball. And a good rule of thumb is if you drop a ball from your dominant eye, for me, uh, my right eye is dominant, we want the ball to, this second ball to hit the ball or, or fall slightly inside. We never want that ball to fall to the outside of the ball. You'd really be up on your toes if you did that. So I'm just going to check. I want this to drop on the ball. It hit the slightly inside of the ball, so that's a good thing. So now I know my distance in the ball is pretty good. I'm going to use the second alignment stick to put just under my eyes. And now, big problem I see with amateur golfers is their head movement, but it's all, it, it kind of comes from the eyes. So if we can get our eyes tracking down the line, you can see how stable my head is. If my eyes start moving off this line, my shoulders start to move, my lower body starts to move as I move towards the targets. Now it's time to hit some putts. So I want to keep my head steady. Good rule of thumb, let your arms hang naturally. Don't, we don't want everything to be too tight, but one little tidbit is don't let your hands drop too much. You see a lot of the best putters where they have a slight arch in their wrist. We just don't want it this way. We want it you know, neutral to even you know, like Steve Stricker where he has a little bow and where the heel comes off the ground a little bit. I'm okay with that. Um, but we want our forearms in alignment. You can see my forearms are square. One's not on top of the other. But if anything, the trail arm should always be under the lead arm. And from there, I'm just gonna try to track my arms or my eyes down the line, make a nice rhythmic stroke. There we go. So a great little trick, you know, the golf balls these days, Titleist golf ball, this Pro V1 here, has a little arrow on either side. You can use a Sharpie mark to darken that sometimes and actually put that and aim that line to get, to get down your target line. And now I can get my eyes right over that line. Um, it helps me orientate to the target. I know when I set that down from behind the ball and set it down, I know it's aimed correctly. So the only thing I have to think about is speed. So it takes one variable out of, um, out of the equation. So that's a good thing to do. Inside of 10 feet, I really think it, it can be beneficial. So it's lined up pretty good. Okay guys, that's a summary of alignment. If you get these things uh, sorted before you even swing the club or hit a putt, it's really gonna help you improve your game. You're gonna, you're gonna play a lot better. Things are gonna start where you're looking a lot better. And even if you miss hit a little bit, at least you're aimed in the right direction. It's gonna go straight. You're not gonna be looking for the balls in the trees. And, uh, and then if you get your alignment on the greens right, you just gotta think about speed because your alignment's taken care of.